Hello, friends. I'm glad to be with you in prayer today. Today, I'm going to offer a prayer about how we manage our treasure. Let's pray together. Dear God, as we pray this day, we give thanks for the blessings we have received in our lives. We give thanks for the treasure we have accumulated. Help us count our blessings like we count our coins. We say thank you for all that we have received, but we pray that you will guide each of our hearts and minds to realize that the treasure that matters is our treasures in heaven. Profit and loss statements and investment plan balances should not be the guide for us to evaluate what we have and certainly not what we need. Remind us that tangible wealth may be a product of faithful living, but bottom lines alone are not the measure of who we are as people of faith. Amen. Our reading for today is from the book of Matthew, from the sixth chapter, starting at verse 19. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust consumes and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. No one can serve two masters, for a slave will either one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and wealth. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm. 